On this edition of Kababayan Today, filmmaker of Manny, Ryan Moore, talks about his passion to tell the boxer's story to the entire world. That's all next on Kababayan Today. Tanji, welcome to Kababayan Today. It's Film Fridays, and I have something very exciting to share with all of you Kababayans. This is the first time that a Filipino-American has directed and produced a film about a Filipino subject that is backed by a major Hollywood studio. That is a big deal. Today, mga kaibigan, Manny will be coming out in select theaters across the USA and on pay-per-view. Kasama natin ang director at ang producer ng pelikulang Pinamagatang, Manny. Let's welcome here on the show, Ryan Moore. Hi, Ryan. Hi, G. Thank you for having me today. This is a very exciting day indeed. Lots of hard work that you've put into making this film, Manny. And now it's opening all across America. How does it feel? Uh, it's, <laughs> it feels like I've been pregnant for five years. <laughs> yes. And now I'm finally releasing Manny into the world. So it feels, I don't know how to feel yet. I, I'm still, still a little anxious, you know, but I'm excited. It's, it's, it's been a long process and uh, I'm happy that, it, that people are finally going to be able to see it. Okay, so pag-usapan natin, alam natin na Filipino ka, di ba? Um, taga saan ang mga magulang mo? Where are your parents from in the Philippines? My mom is from Aringay, La Union. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I lived there, I had a chance to go and visit it. It's beautiful. I loved, uh, I loved going to the beaches. It was, uh, it was uh, an extraordinary experience to, to go see where she came from. Okay, and where is your father from? He was born in uh, Oregon. Okay, so Phil M na Phil M ka talaga, <laughs> yeah. right? Yes. Okay, so I understand that you moved back to the Philippines during your high school years. Mm -hmm. How was that experience like? And how has it changed you? Well, you know, when I first, the, you know, growing up here in California, you're, you're kind of in a bubble, you know? Mm -hmm. Even though I grew up with a huge Filipino family, there's something, there's maybe like 300 of us here. Um, I always grew up with Filipino food, what, ha what have you. We had family parties every weekend but you had the pancit, yeah. uh, the pancit parties yeah exactly okay. so you know but i didn't think it was going to be too much of a change but when i moved there when i was 14 i was completely culture shocked you know um it was such a huge change for me but i attribute so much of who i am now to that experience of moving there and finding uh, so much about my family discovering a lot about our culture about my roots and um that really developed uh, me as an artist too. Mm -hmm. And I know that you're very proud to be Filipino, which is why your subject matter for your first <laughs> film, you chose to do it um, on a, Filipi a very Filipino subject, yes. right? Manny Pacquiao. Uh, I know that a lot of Filipino Americans that live here are raising their children, and it's always a struggle because there seems to be this generational gap. Uh, why would you recommend to the families that are watching to expose their children to the Philippines. Yeah, what I would say is, if you have a chance, instead of buying them presents for their birthday and Christmas one year, save up that money and send them home. I really believe that. So you really, you still, you still call the Philippines your home? Yes. Amazing. Yes, I, um, because I went there when I was learning so much about life. I was a teenager, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, mm -hmm. and when you go there, um, you really see what your family went through, especially to get you where you are. Yeah, the sacrifices. The sacrifices, mm -hmm. the struggle, mm -hmm. you know? And you know, my mom and my Lola, they had a very hard life growing up there. My Lola was a single mother of six, you know? And you don't know that. Mm -hmm. You see them here and you think, oh, you know, this is what their life was like. But then when you go there and you see it, you go, oh my gosh, like they've really had a hard time just making enough money to eat. And when you when you and, and when you see that and you're exposed to that, you realize how hard you too want to work, how hard you want to you want to pursue your dreams just to make them proud. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And that's really important to me. Yes. Well, the the Filipino spirit is very resilient. Uh, I Absolutely. know. I know that um, you attribute a lot of your strength from seeing your mom because you know she's a Filipina nurse. So talk to me about that relationship with your Filipina mom. Yeah. Uh, because you know we all have Filipino moms. Uh, 
how Filipino did she raise you? My mom is very strong. She's a very vocal woman. Um, like many Filipinas, <laughs> right? And um, when I was working on this film, just to tie it back, um, my mom would always say in the morning, I know you're working 20 hours a day filming him. I know it's a lot of work, but keep praying. You know, every day, don't forget God. Keep praying, and I always support you. You know, don't worry. Don't worry about the movie. Don't worry if it's going to be good, if people are going to watch it. You know what I mean? Just, just do the best you can, but I'm always here to support you. And she would call me. She would text. She would take time to pray for me. I think that's very Filipino. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> she absolutely. Would, she would say, stop what you're doing. Come on, let's pray for a second. You know what I mean? And I'm sure you experience this with Manny as oh, well, oh, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. Uh, everything that he does, we need to pray about this first, right? Yeah. So uh, Ryan Moore is here, the director and producer of the film that's coming out today. Manny, we're going to talk to him about the challenges of making this film. And of course, who else? The Filipino national hero, Manny Pacquiao. We'll be right back. Don't go away.